She's doing fantastic. Look at that. She's not even trying to bite me. Toothbrush training, fingy training. Oh my gosh. So as you could tell, she's just in one hand. So, and see that? <gasps> see why finger placement's better? So. Ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it. Gosh dang it. Did not. I didn't do my own rule. I hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. We have some exciting things to do today, like always here at Space Lizard Exotics. But wait, hey, before we get cracking on all of our exciting ventures today, take a bite out of that subscribe button. Just take a chomp right out of it. Urgh. Like Brutus or Nebula would. That way you can stay up to date with all the cool, amazing reptiles. And don't forget to click that bell notification. That way you get, you know, Updated when we launch new videos weekly. Super fun. Anyway, let's get cracking. Let's have a fun, rad day. As you could tell, I'm in the Cayman Cave. We have some more Cayman things to discuss and talk about. So let's get these little swamp puppies out of here and let's have fun. <laughs> oh my God, he is huge. Dear Lord, maybe it's just because I'm just got that little lady. everyone if you haven't been staying up to date with the channel since we started this he has grown substantially this is Brutus Brutus Maximus this is my second Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman my god so super crazy god he's a beast look how big he is but let's talk about some things how do you handle this big dragon well we're gonna discuss how to handle dwarf caimans. What I suggest, and if you do have one, especially when they get the size of Brutus here, how to hold them. As you can tell, I'm holding Brutus with two hands. I cannot <laughs> technically hold him with one. <laughs> For those reasons, especially. So a lot of times they get, oh my gosh, he's acting up, gosh dang it. I think a lot of it's my voice too, talking to the camera. If you've noticed, Brutus and Nebula sometimes react when I am talking to you wonderful, amazing humans. But let's just get straight into it. How in the world, or what is the best way to handle these little swamp puppies and little dinosaurs? I suggest always two hands. Definitely always two hands. Of course, there are exceptions. If you've seen the last video or the last couple videos, you will see the little new addition Rhea. She's baby, 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 baby dwarf caiman. So super tiny. Technically could fit her in one hand. No big deal. I took Brutus out for a couple various reasons. He is too hot to handle, too cold to hold, too hot to handle. That's what they say where I come from. But it's all worth it because he's super fun and it gives me a very, very awesome experience and giving me personally the experience that I need of handling and knowing how to deal with their temperament and how explosive they could be. So, main thing, you do not wanna hurt the caiman or technically, I mean, if they bite me, I'd rather him bite me than ever him get hurt at all because their bites, I mean, I'll heal. I'm fine. Been bit by way worse things than a Cuvier's dwarf caiman. Or have I? Actually, it's not like that. Anyway, Brutus, is my awesome, amazing boy, love him. He is definitely the most challenging caiman I do own, just because he is a male and he tries to assert his dominance, which he's very good at displaying. As you can tell, very explosive and he's very strong. So this is why I do stress handling them with two hands. Now I have my hand underneath here. I'm not squeezing at all. I'm not holding it super tight. It's a firm grip, but it's nothing tight. It's more like to where he feels secure, even though he goes ape and tries to finger right behind technically their head right here, because you do not want to get your finger bit. It's they can easily put their head down, especially with how they maneuver their body. If you just saw recently with how he was just flailing himself, it's very easy to have a finger misplacement or misplace your finger and all of a sudden it just ends up in their mouth. If you get a chance, take a scroll through the videos that we have. We got space those exotics because you get to see these little swamp puppies. Sometimes they get me or they have bitten me in the past and I have documented it because we all need to learn from these things. Are they challenging at times? No joke, absolutely, 100%, I cannot deny it. Is it fulfilling? 
the most fulfilling thing I've ever honestly done in my life. If I get fit or if I get a little hurt along the way or the process of experiencing these animals, that is, that's my bad, right? That was me either poorly, you know, handling them, having bad, you know, finger placement or not handling them properly at the time, or just sometimes, well, <laughs> happens in life, right? They can get used to you. They are very intelligent animal. Super cool how much we could learn about these amazing animals together, right? Like I said, good firm grip. I always, you know, have the tail like this. Of course, I'm showing him off to the camera. Now, if I'm standing up or holding him, I'm, all, I'm gonna be having his tail back towards me like this, super secure, kind of more the tail kind of against my body almost in a sense. Uh, like I said, not a lot of pressure. You just wanna make sure they feel super secure. And a lot of times I have my hand right underneath where their back leg is, not putting pressure on it or anything like that either. But it's very important to handle your dwarf caiman appropriately so one you don't get bit and then two you don't ever want to drop them or hurt the animal or make them feel super uncomfortable this thing's lived 60 years you can't be having a pissed off dinosaur at you that is like you've never handled or socialized with you got to get to know these things like i said a couple points here be prepared for these wonderful creatures to be super explosive i'm gonna fix my spectacles real quick you get contacts very explosive that's just and that's never going to change that's exactly how they are now you can like i said get them to where they're used to you and just get to know your caiman as much as possible now i know brutus's temperament and i also know nebula's temperament and of course little Rhea. she's new to the party so we're still getting you know used to how she's gonna grow into her little personality because gosh dang it they all have certain cool traits and personalities about each one of them now of course there's my little girl nebula she is my first Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Not as explosive as Brutus, and definitely not as bitey as well. So uh, Brutus definitely likes to try to take his, uh, you know, swipes at me and his little shots at me when he can. She, she does, but she doesn't really ever connect and make it personal. She'll try to like do like a quick little like warning little bite, a little warning snap, which speaking of snap and bite, hey, bite at that subscribe button yet, especially if you're liking the content. Subscribe, like, it means a lot to us. So anyway, we all do socializing with both of them. Now, if you do have dwarf caimans or if you're thinking about getting one, if you do get a male, just be prepared that, well, their temper is a little bit different, but nevertheless, don't, don't sway away from them. Don't shy away from them. Socialize with them. Deal with it. Hey everyone, just want to show Brutus off and hey, how you handle dwarf caiman, right? Same concept goes for that beautiful little gal in there. How I handle him and her are generally the same, but all right, so remember when I said handle with two hands? So like I said, there's always an exception. Gosh dang it, look how tiny. Literally want you to compare those two, right? When Brutus was out, how big and how little this little gal is. Gosh dang it, right? Look at that. Same concept though. So finger right behind the jawline. Because I'm going to show you. Look. See if I can make her do it. Okay, so I'm petting her. She's socializing see what happens when you socialize your dwarf caiman gosh dang i've only had her a few days she's doing fantastic look at that she's not even trying to bite me she hasn't even tried to take a swipe at me what toothbrush training thingy training with them you know at this size you can kind of tell if they're going to start moving kind of crazy way more easier to handle than when brutus starts going fucking crazy oh my gosh so as you can tell she's just in one hand so and see that <gasps> See why finger placement's better? So, and that that happened well because I moved my finger right up towards her, her mouth. Gosh dang it! Did not. I didn't do my own rule. I didn't follow my own rule here at Space Lizard Exotics. So we're doing an instructional video of why you need to listen to Elliot's instructions and not go against Elliot's instructions, even though Elliot goes against his own instructions and gets bit on camera. Hmm. See. Dwarf Cayman has fingy. You have my fingy, Lily. You do. No, oh, that's crazy. She's actually biting down. What? This is a very good point to talk about right now. See how calm, cool, and collect I am right now? I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe this right now. Like, it doesn't even... It feels like sandpaper on, like, a clip. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got, like, a clip, like, one of those, like, paper, like, I need to hold, like, a stack of paper and you put like a uh, grade sandpaper and just clip it on your finger. 
Caliente. What are you going to do? What do you do when they have your thingy? Do you cry its mouth open? Do you do you yell at it and call it a little What do you do? Well, definitely don't pry its mouth open. You don't want to hurt the animal, because you can. Don't try to pry its mouth open. Nine, nine, nine. Don't do it. Stop it. A lot of times you could put them into water. Just dip them in there. Most of the time they'll finally, they'll look at you for a little while and be like, but they'll eventually let go. Other than that though, it's like I said, it's not that bad. Like, and what? Look at that. She just let go. Oh, she just let go. So I don't, that doesn't happen again. Finger right behind the head. Just to be honest with you, I do sometimes not obey all my rules just because they're so tiny and you could do fun stuff with them like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, let's put this little lady back. Before we do though, if you haven't yet, take a bite out of that subscribe button. It's kind of like how little Rhea here took a bite out of my finger. Smack that bell notification with a, your whipped tail or whatever you're doing with it. And we will see you next time at Space Lizard Exotics. Stay rad everyone, wherever you're at in this glorious, amazing world. And we will see you next time.